How is he making a throw? That you're back there is not real. As you can see in that first clip, Jordan Love is not a real human being, but let's dive into the offense. We're going to focus on the run game because it was a pretty complete game overall, a dominant performance by the offense, and there was a varied run game. So I want to look at all the different schemes and types of plays that LaFleur used. And also schematically, you know, it's just the play design by Matt LaFleur was quite good in this game. So that's what we're going to focus on in this video in the breakdown of the Packers offense. So let's get started right away. All right, starting out with the first play, one of the things that LaFleur did a lot is run a split zone. And that's what we're going to see on this play. And Sims actually gets a great block to kind of, you know, start this play off. But this was kind of the scary moment at the start. You're, a split zone is essentially you've got everyone blocking play side. And then on the back end, you're going to have someone sift over and then block the unblocked person. And this allows for the running back to either follow the play side blocks or potentially cut it back. All right, so we're just going to watch this play out and then we'll kind of look at it from the other angle. LaFleur was using a ton of motion and she just gets kind of blown up here. So early on in the game, it wasn't looking too good, but eventually this is going to work out. So Lawrence is a great player and he just makes a great play here. So Kraft does a good job here of leaving this guy unblocked because the purpose of this guy being unblocked is so then the guy sifting over is going to be able to block him and then Kraft works to the second level. So LaFleur had a lot of these where he was getting these guys to work to the second level. And you can see 33 is basically taken out of the play there by Sims with that block. And the tight ends did a great job in this game. It was just Sheed getting dominated by a Pro Bowl player. And there's not much you can do in that situation. So one of the few plays that he was able to, you know, make a play. All right, now the next play that we're going to take a look at is this Romeo Dobbs. Just amazing, you know, kind of in route here. But this is something that was unconventional from the Cowboys is they played a ton of zone. And on this play, they're going to play a Tampa 2. So you essentially have a deep middle. Then you're going to have a couple shallow hooks. But essentially, you're going to have shallow hooks across the board with five under it's essentially a four under three deep because of this middle hook but you're also going to have two deep safeties for the halves but this is going to get stressed because of christian watson so christian watson didn't have a big game i think he had one catch for nine yards but he's gonna basically force the inside defender to take him right he's gonna do kind of the skinny post in the middle of the field and then Dobbs essentially just going to kind of round out and do a basic route into the middle of the field. And he's just going to be wide open because this defender is going to be vacated by Watson. So let's watch it play out. And you'll just see that Watson is that vertical threat. So you can see the middle guy is going to take him and carry him vertical, even though he's got deep help. And Dobbs against the zone is just going to be wide open here. So... Love also is really incredible with his poise. So you're going to see a lot of these deep shots that he has in the middle of the field. He's going to have a guy in his face, and he's not going to be scared, and he's just going to deliver a good ball. So there, taking a hit. Good ball right over the top of number 14 there. And he's been doing this consistently. That's a, that's the thing about Love that people don't really understand. It's like he's just not afraid he's gonna stand in there take a shot but he's still gonna deliver a nice ball most of the time so just great job by him next play here is just kind of showing that mixed run game we're gonna have an outside zone here and jones is just gonna find a seam good block by jenkins there but when we get to the backside view outside zone essentially is just gonna be all of these offensive linemen blocking play side right so the point of an outside zone is everyone's going to reach out and try to block the person on the play side. So Sheed is going to be taking 97. Myers should be taking 96. And then Jenkins should be taking 33 if he fills the gap. So Tom is going to reach the edge here as well. And what this allows Jones to do, because it's a stretch, if any of these gaps open up, 
whether it's the C gap, the B gap, the A gap, or the opposite A gap, if any of those things open up, it's going to allow Jones to have a clear lane. And this is just kind of mixing in that zone and the gap scheme. And you can see right behind Myers, he's able to reach block there. And Sheed working on the second level. Hitting 14 makes it a little bit tougher tackle. Gives Aaron Jones a few extra yards. So just a great job with the run game. All right, here we're going to have another split zone. You're going to have that sift over from Kraft. Gets a nice block. Rashid downfield also gets a nice block. This is something that annoyed Parsons throughout the game. You're going to see Parsons take a shot here from Kraft. And then Sheed getting a nice block downfield. And one of the things that Dallas... It really confused me watching them play, but this has just been their personnel. They play with a very light box in terms of the linebackers. So you've got 14 and you've got 33. Both of them are definitely not a prototypical linebacker, right? Both of them are essentially safeties that are filling in the role of an inside linebacker. And one of the ways that you can exploit that is by taking this, you know, sift block to the other side. And if you don't have to block the backside because you've got Kraft that's sifting over, it allows Rashid, who's got nobody on him, to just immediately get to the second level. All right, he's got nobody to his play side, so he's just going to get to the second level, and this is just going to spring a decent run here. And just a nice shot there by Kraft as well. And just great contact balance by Aaron Jones there. You know, able to navigate that that very small seam and get extra yardage. And here you're going to see it again, another one of those split zones. So you've got the Y that's going to be kind of splitting over and blocking Parsons on the edge. And this is going to come into play later on, but this is going to be just a great play by Jones. That motion. And Jones is able to squeeze into that gap. So just... A great job overall and even the concept here you're able to tell that they're stressed and they're thinking that it's gonna be a pass because of this motion right you've seen 26 he's following Reed here and then as soon as he counters back he's got to counter back as well you can see on the other side they were gonna be pushing the safety so if Reed crosses the formation then that safety has to take him so you can just see that you know the mind games are the Packers are going to be passing this, right? They know they have man coverage. They're running motion, so why wouldn't they why wouldn't they pass this, right? But of course, this is something that you'll also see in terms of this the man count is who's in the A gap, right? You're going to have an offensive lineman taking on a 200-pound linebacker. Who's going to win that most of the time? Right? So this is just great, you know, schemes by Lafleur, and it consistently led to success. So just great job by Aaron Jones as well to score that. All right, here we've got another gap scheme that Lafleur is going to run. You're going to have a kind of GF counter, which is a your F, the fullback, and a guard that is going to be pulling. And I feel like this play could have been a massive play if Aaron Jones was in instead of Wilson. Nothing against Wilson, but I think Aaron Jones would have found this this edge here. So we'll just kind of go back to the start. We've got this motion. Obviously, LaFleur loves his motions. DeGuara coming in motion, countering back. And you're also going to have Sean Ryan that's pulling, right? So you're going to have Sean Ryan pull. You're going to have DeGuara pull on that counter. And then Kraft is going to get upfield. So essentially, you fake that you're going to be running a zone to the right, but then you're going to have that cut back. So you've got that counter. And you can see Sean Ryan blocks the outside man. And I think if this is Aaron Jones, he's going to see the leverage that Sean Ryan has because Sean Ryan has essentially sealed him here. And Jones is going to have the ability to get to the outside and that's going to be a huge you know 15 yard run at the least but that was just great play design again and you know overall these counters and the split zones were just dominating the cowboys front all right here we've just got another great 
play call by Lafleur. So we're going to have this motion over, and essentially it's going to create a small, a very small bunch formation because the ball is going to get snapped as soon as Reed hits that point. And you're going to see a push call from the Cowboys as well. So they're going to essentially push this out, and they're going to have 33 lock on 11. So they're essentially going to have 33 take the outside most receivers so he's going to kind of motion with him and take him and man then you're going to have man here and man here and then on the back side you're going to have some sort of zone concept so we'll watch this play out and you'll just see the space here that gets opened up so you've got melton going vertical reed going vertical and then dobbs running a great route in order to get open and we'll just go back we'll only watch it from this view because this route is just incredible. So one of the things that has been happening most of the game is, you know, you're going to have some sort of cross route. And just look at the way that Dobbs sets this up. So you're going to see his shoulders essentially turn. So he, he's already faked as if he's going on that over route. And as soon as he gets contact there, he's going to rip to the outside. And look at that separation. The ball is already out. So just a great job by Love here. That separation, you know, he's already got two to three yards, and he's just going to be wide open. So not only is it just a great route by Dobbs, but also great play design in order to clear this out. All right, up next, we've got the Dontavian Wicks touchdown. So one thing you're going to see right here at the start is Love, he's already done his hard counts, and he sees that there was going to be a blitz from the inside. So we didn't get to see all of it on all 22. So you can see Love is making his checks. And this, this touchdown happens before the snap, right? Love able to make those checks. And then this motion as well. So by Wick or by Reed kind of motioning here and coming to the inside, that's going to change essentially who these guys cover, right? Gilmore is going to take the outside most receiver at the end, and then Lewis is going to be taking the inside receiver. And because of this motion, Reed is going to be end up he's going to end up being taken by Jordan Lewis here, and that's just going to give Dontavian Wicks a free touchdown. You can see the outside leverage, right? There's no way that Gilmore is going to be able to make a play if Wicks goes to the inside, and you're going to see Wicks on his route here is going to set it up perfectly. So he's going outside first, and then as soon as he makes that break, you can see Love already launching the ball, and Wicks with a nice touchdown against an all-pro corner there. So just kind of going back to that, I really love Wicks. You know, I've, I broke it down in the, in the last game as well. He's just been incredible with his routes. You can tell he's a basketball player because it's essentially like he's doing a crossover every time he makes one of those those breaks but just a great job to get the protection set for essentially max protect you've got the back you've got the tight end it's a three-man route and that's because he had that hard count to basically tell him hey it's going to be a blitz it's going to be cover zero meaning it's man everywhere and that's going to set up your guys to win one-on-one -on -one matchups and just again great play design by Lafleur with the motion, knowing exactly what the Cowboys are going to do. If you motion this guy in, then they're going to have to switch who takes one, who takes two. Man, just watching through these plays, you just see the motion that kills them over and over again. And this is just going to be a great counter and also a great job by Kraft. You know, not quite a first down here, but we're going to see it from the end zone angle. It's going to be another one of those counters where the tight end is going to be crossing the formation and blocking for jones but something that is going to be incredible by craft here is the presence of mind because packers have been using and abusing play action this entire game that lawrence here is going to crash right this is essentially a zone read but for the tight end so the tight end is going to be reading that edge defender and deciding if he needs to block him or not because if lawrence stays up field here and tries to contain then Kraft has to block him. But because he crashes down to chase the play action, that is something that, you know, the Packers have been doing very effectively is that play action. Lawrence chases it, trying to make a play on the quarterback. 
and Kraft just doesn't have to block him. It's essentially a zone read for the tight end and who he needs to block. And he's able to push to, push Gilmore there and, you know, get a good seven, eight yard gain there on, on that play. I never really thought that, you know, Gilmore would would be the one that gets exposed on those defense because you think that, you know, Stefan Gilmore down here at the bottom is going to be one of the top players for the Cowboys. And he was just kind of attacked over and over again. And this is kind of that Nova Kane. I don't know if anyone watches Remember the Titans, but, you know, run the same thing over and over again and it works every time, right? Like Nova Kane. And <laughs> this is just another one of those play actions. You're going to have that motion at the start of the play essentially motion on, I would say, 90% of the plays. But I would have to check my spreadsheet to, to verify that. And it's just ridiculous. You're going to have the anticipation by Gilmore because of that play action. He just thinks it's going to be a high cross. It's just going to be a cross all the way around the field. How do you potentially make a big play on a cross? He just anticipates, oh, Dobbs is going to carry over. It's going to be this cross. Right? And it ends up being essentially a kind of delayed flag route. But Gilmore, in order to beat that top cross and force a tough throw, he's going to try to undercut the route. So he anticipates, instead of staying in man coverage and keeping his eyes on the receiver, you can see here, it's also eyes on the receiver. So it is man. It's essentially cover one. And Stefan Gilmore is going to get exposed. You can see just another great route by Dobbs, setting him up, making him believe it's a cross. And then as, as soon as he believes that it's a cross, cuts back over on that flag route and just makes a great play. Dobbs was in his bag with his route running today and just absolutely destroyed Stefan Gilmore in 90% in of the plays, which is very, very surprising for a young receiver like that to go up against a pro bowler in all pro and play that well. And just to add on from the end zone angle, so it, it gets a little bit awkward with the play action fake here. So you can see he like extends his arm out rather than kind of tucking it in because if he just tucks it into his body, Jones knocks it out. So Jones, a great pickup there. And then DeGuara is essentially going to get beat. He doesn't get wide enough here in order to take on Parsons. Parsons just uses his speed to get around the edge and just great poise. Love takes a shot, delivers a ball. Luckily, you know, his receiver is wide open from that great route, but my goodness, no fear standing in there delivering a shot from a top defender in the league. And just great job by the Packers offense. All right, here we go. Best play of DeGuara's career. Actually, probably not his career, but just a great block here on Micah Parsons. It may not seem like much, but of course, you know, that's essentially what's going to spring him for that touchdown. So again, you've got another one of these split zones. So you've got the motion over. You can see it's man coverage. They're going to be sw swapping over here. They're going to be doing a push call. So he's going to be taking the motion guy in man. And then because you've got so many moving parts, you've got guys shifting over you're just going to hit him with this kind of split zone and block the backside. So this is just another, you know, great way to set up the Cowboys defense who are very man heavy. Winning a lot of these plays before the snap because they're just putting these defenders in positions where it makes it very tough to win. All right, here we go. A great check, a great block, a great run all coming in. So we got Love here. He's checking at the line of scrimmage. We've got... Jenkins, who's got a great block, and of course, Aaron Jones with a great run. Just a fantastic day overall. So just kind of showing this here. What do you think the Packers are going to do based on this look? Right? Maybe I'll just kind of draw a circle around the area. Think of these numbers here. If you split it down the middle, the Packers have a huge advantage to run the ball, and we'll see it more on the end zone angle, but you can see he's checking into a run. Not only do you have numbers, because if you do a stretch run to the outside here, Myers is essentially going to get to the second level. Ryan's going to take the end. Tom can double. And you've got still two blockers out here on the edge. So it's just going to be a huge run 
And the other thing that Love is checking here before I even show the play, you see Micah Parsons here, right? Micah Parsons is on the left side of the field. If this was a run to the left and they're checking it, they're flipping it, or they're saying like, true, true. That was something that Olsen was talking about. That was the Cowboys check. Anytime they said true, true, it was a run to the right. Anytime it was a run to the left, it was false, false. All right, so you could actually predict the Cowboys plays just based on their checks. Not very hard. So here we've got a good check. Everyone tapping their head, getting the communication. And just a great job. Jenkins gets on Parsons. Watson getting a block downfield. And of course, Jones breaking it all the way down the sideline there for a great run. But just a great job up front. Jenkins does a very good job of stretching out in front with his reach block. He's able to get so far upfield that he can take on the second level defender, which is Parsons. And that's just going to spring him free, right? Just a great lane here. Myers, great position to wall off. 14 bites on potential play action. So just more great play design here. And the Packers offense is just firing on all cylinders. And it's it's great to see. As we excited for you know, the game next week, game against the 49ers. But, you know, I'll be doing my preview a little bit later this week. All right, then the very next play is a play that everyone knows. Nobody on the Cowboys defense is going to be near him. And this is just a crazy play design by LaFleur. Just have it play through. Got to watch the must goat score. He didn't fall down. <laughs> I remember watching this live. It's like, he didn't fall down. And then I saw the... The locker room video as well of Lafleur saying he didn't fall down. <laughs> it's just amazing. But we're going to watch this. Essentially, the play design is, is crazy. It's in the thumbnail. But you've got so many things going on here. You've got, obviously, the play that ends up working out well is this drag wheel. So he's basically going to hide and drag across and then get open on a wheel route. And this ends up being man coverage. But... They're going to miss their man. So because of the play action, that's something that you want to key on. Because of that play action, you're going to watch the eyes of these two guys, right? They're going to be looking at Jordan Love in that play fake in case it's a run. Now, because they're looking at the quarterback, they don't see this drag route that goes out, and it's going to be a problem, right? You're going to have Kraft that's going to sift over, right, and do essentially a a block as if it's actually going to be a run because they've been doing that every time up to this point. They've been sifting and blocking and doing it split zones the entire game. And now the Cowboys are going to be biting on it. So this is just a great play call. So we've got the drag wheel and we've got a cross, right? Essentially a low cross here. And then we're going to have essentially a flag route by melton on the other side and then it's it doesn't stop there there's more just wait there's more it's like a billy mays ad but here we've got jones taking the fake and then coming out and setting for a screen like he's here for a screen and then you're gonna see oh wait there's more tom is gonna get you know hands on parsons so he's not a free runner but then you're gonna have ryan and myers all pull so you've got three guys on the right side. They're, they're going to make contact to make it seem like they're blocking. So Tom's going to get a hand on. Ryan's going to get a hand on Parsons just to slow him down a little bit. And just watch this play out. You know, you've got so many things to look at. Here you've got the screen that's set up. So if they actually have someone on Musgrave, you've got a screen there that's safe. And it's just there's so much going on in one play. And of course, it's a little bit short, but... Anytime you've got a top defensive player, you know, running straight at you, you've got to make a throw. And this is just another great throw by Love. Someone directly in his face, but that play design you've got. I'm surprised, you know, Sheed isn't doing, going back to his Penn State days here. I can see it, you know, looking at the guy on the ground. I know what he wants to do, but the fade away from Love. Nice lob. No one within 20 yards of Musgrave, and he's able to get into the end zone there for a touchdown. Just great job by LaFleur. All right, so this is just kind of continuing, looking at all those run schemes that he's running. This is going to be a little pitch in outside zone, and 
man, does it work perfectly. I highlighted the outside zone earlier, but you're going to have all these reach blocks. So all the offense alignment reaching out to the play side. And it's going to give Aaron Jones an option. Which gap do I want to go to? He just reads it, checks the flow of the defense, gives a quick spin move. And just a great job. So, I mean, if we get to this point, Aaron Jones, his vision, he easily could have could have cut up here, right? He has this lane, but he's going to choose to go to the other lane because he can see the momentum of these players, right? They're all shifting here, and Jones is just going to cut back and get, hit that seam. And Melton just, oof, staying engaged in his block. Love to see it from these receivers. Oof, little spin move. Almost inside the red zone. Just amazing job by this Packers team. All right, this, uh, this play I just kind of wanted to highlight because I, I mentioned it in a previous video, but like Myers, he's been playing a lot better lately, but I still think that the part of the reason of his like bad play early on in the season or lackluster play, I should say, not necessarily bad, but I think he's been dealing with some sort of injury the entire season because watch him at the end of this play. He's been doing this a lot. I don't know if you guys ever see it, live on the broadcast but Myers is favoring that shoulder every time and he's been doing that multiple games over and over where he he gets a little bit of a stinger right he's got his arm kind of stuck by Lawrence there and then he moves up to the second level but I've been seeing this so often that he's got some sort of injury that's lingering and he's just playing through it and he's just not been on the injury report at all. So, I mean, good on him for toughing it out, but that's just something that you guys want to look forward to or look at, you know, going forward is see that on the broadcast because I've seen it a few times on the broadcast, but man, dude's a warrior. And of course, we've got to save the best for last. This play was just unreal. Play action, sift block, and then you've got that fake kind of rub route as if you're going to go in the flat. So you're using the play that they scored on earlier, but Dobbs is just running the route perfectly. You can see that stutter. He doesn't make contact, and he's just able to get back into a soft spot of the zone. And how is he making this throw? Crossbody has to pass one defender. There's a second defender, third defender, and he's able to fit that in in a perfect spot because if this is... One inch, one inch to the right. Look at that. The hand is basically touching the ball. If it is one inch to the right, that is not a touchdown. Puts it low and away, protects Dobbs. Just amazing job. That's why this guy is just not real. That is unreal to make a throw like that. And his confidence is at an all-time high. And this is a scary Packers team. With the way this offense is rolling, oof, it's going to be a fun one on Saturday. There we have it. The Cowboys and Packers recap of their offense. Obviously, the Packers offense. But just a great offensive performance. You know, a lot of that stuff coming from the first half because they were so dominant in the first half. And then a few of those plays from the end. Obviously, the Dobbs touchdown at the end. Just great job by the offense. You know, Jordan Love performing at a very, very high level, an elite level. And I think the Packers have struck gold again on a quarterback. So tomorrow I should have my defensive review as well. And then on Thursday or Friday, I should have my preview ready of the San Francisco game. They haven't played in a little while. So I'm going to have to be looking at the Ravens game to see kind of a blueprint of how to stop them defensively. But other than that, we'll see what the Shanahan system has. And um, I'll give you my thoughts on the, the game this upcoming week. So take care. And of course, as always, Go Pack Go!